Terence Dev here, welcome to Windlands Overview. I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> this is the first time in the history of this platform that we were going kind of backwards with releases. The sequel to this series came out on like a few weeks ago or like earlier this year and now we're getting a prequel of it which is essentially a game of six and seven years old the question is why now is it the meta that did an oopsie and green light the wrong <laughs> order i would need a developer explain it because this makes no sense to me <laughs> So Windlands is a first-person grappling hook exploration game where we get to soar through the ruins of the fallen civilization, fly around using hooks and discover the secrets of the ancient world. Just like its successor, I never got an opportunity to play its prequel. It's gonna be weird overall to play this now because Windlands 2, on the first glance, just seems way better on every aspect. What's a little bit different looking at this trailer, I don't think we can actually move like on the ground. Cause the Commotion seems purely grappling based, so I guess we'll see how that will feel in the game. It looks a little bit similar, though the graphics are obviously downgraded, and I guess it's gonna be a good occasion to find out how this series started and why people loved it in the first place, though I just don't see it happening in this day and age. Like, I don't know what's the situation, but we have to deal with it and let's go hooking, not on the street. <laughs> Long ago, a great civilization rose. Sacred crystals were discovered deep underground and brought into the light. And using their power, the people built wonder. Grand constructions were undertaken, and great titans created to defend the Sky City. The Windlands! Yet soon would come a time of chaos. A dark star from the heavens ascended and ripped the world asunder. The cities and titans would fall, and the crystals that powered the world scattered. Now a new guardian has risen, who will reunite the crystals, reawaken the titans, and return life to Windland. I remember the sequel is happening after the titans kind of disappeared. So now we'll be getting the clarification of it all. Guardian awoken. Good. Come then. There is work to do. Succeed where others have failed. Okay, so there is a normal locomotion. There are no tips what the controls are and stuff. What the? This is huge in terms of perspective. Yeah, I mean, the graphics are definitely pre-quest era. <laughs> Even for like PC VR, which I don't think it was like downgraded that much, though correct me if I'm wrong, it's very basic, like there's no denying it. Nice. <laughs> I mean, for some, I guess, the movement can be a little bit intense. It's like more gravity comparing to the second one. Oh, okay. Whoa. <laughs> I don't need no hooks. Hooks. Tools 
portals of a guardian. With these, you shall explore this broken world. These windland. It's much more intense. There's like a small indicator where you're gonna cook to something. Seems fine with me. Very smooth, very correct. <laughs> you may be wondering who I am and where I am. Truly, I am no one, and those who we are reside nowhere. The voice comes from within you, Guardian. Go, fulfill your destiny. Subtitles should be floating around my head where I look. Okay, I wonder if you have some kind of combat because there's no bow, it's just hooking, at least for now. So maybe the picker was all about exploration. A crystal? Not all shall be so easily found. Uh huh. Shall open portals to new lands. You shall find others lost among the ruins. So I guess it unlocks different areas. I think it's on top. It feels kind of empty without the enemies or anything, really. <laughs> I guess there will be only Titans cheating. The world is huge, just like in the previous one. Well, next <laughs> We're bending the timeline. I mean, there's nothing to add really because second one feels superior though maybe the movement is better here I'm not sure I would have to play again like there is absolutely no <laughs> problems with climbing the islands <laughs> Why my words always turn against me? <laughs> mm. 
These tablets scattered through the land contain knowledge. Take them to the hub temple. On the walls reside panels, waiting for the histories of the past to be retold. There's not that many bushes around and I suppose it might be due to the difficulty because I saw the easy mode you can grab to anything which kind of defeats the purpose of the game. Not that easy. <laughs> Need to just land myself. <laughs> okay, I guess there are two ways. I don't remember being here. <laughs> Anyhow, it's pretty clear this is supposed to be a prequel to the actual thing we got earlier. Since pretty smooth, the graphics are obviously from a different era of virtual reality. Maybe there's not enough bushes for my taste, though just change the difficulty and you'll be fine. It seems like it's just an exploration game with flying around and that's essentially all you get. So for this day and age, I don't know. It might be cool back in the day. Now it's just okay or average at best. <laughs> if I would do a playthrough on it, probably not. I would have to opt for the sequel, which I hope I would do eventually. But yeah, I expected this to be like that. 